Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the solution for the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to R. So from this, capital P is the term with small p which is z square minus 2yz minus y square and capital Q is xy plus zx and capital R is xy minus zx. To get the solution, we have to solve dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. We are going to substitute capital P. So dx by z square minus 2yz minus y square which is equal to dy by q which is xy plus zx which is again equal to dz by xy minus zx. Now taking the last two terms at a time and we are going to solve. So this is dy by we take x common, so this is x into y plus z and in the other side we have d z by again x common then y minus z. So we can cancel these two and now we shall cross multiply. So when we cross multiply this dy gets multiplied with y minus z. So it is y dy minus z dy in the same way it is y dz plus z dz on the other side. Now we shall take this term to the other side and this term to the other side. So y dy minus z dz equal to we have y dz and when we take this to the other side it becomes z d y. Now we are going to rewrite the other side y d y and minus z d z is kept as it is and this is the differentiation of y z using the product rule y into d z plus z into d y. Then we are going to integrate on both the sides. This is y square by 2 minus z square by 2 equal to y z. Now taking the LCM and taking the common denominator to the other side we get y square minus z square equal to 2 y z and bringing everything to one side we get and we have also have an integration constant c1. So this is y square minus 2 y z minus z square and this becomes our c1. Now we are going to use the Lagrange's multiplier for this and again going to take two terms at a time and solve. So before that I have to copy this entire term. So let us write it here that is dx by z square minus yz minus y square. Let us take it again z square minus 2yz minus y square. So there is a 2 also which is equal to dy by xy plus zx. xy plus zx. Again dz by the last term is xy minus zx. xy minus zx. Now using Lagrange's multiplier x, y and z. Now the first term is multiplied with x. So x into dx by x z square minus 2xyz 
minus x y square. In the same way, second is multiplied with y. So y dy by x y square plus z x y. And the third term is multiplied by z. So z into d z whole division x y z minus z square x. Now, using the properties of the ratio, we can add all the numerators x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole division we can add all the denominators that is x z square minus 2 x y z minus x y square plus x y square plus z x y plus x y z minus z square x so here we notice x z square positive and x z square negative then x y z x y z is 2 x y z with the minus 2 x y z gets cancelled and in the same way minus x square y plus x square x y square minus x y square and plus x y square gets cancelled so we get totally the denominator is 0 now let's write the remaining term that is x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole division 0. Now we can take any two terms. So let us take the last two terms that is z dz by this and this entire term. So for clear understanding let us copy the term z dz by actually we can leave that z also. It is the multiplier which we have taken without z also we can write but I have written it so x y z minus x square x which is equal to this one that is x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole division 0 when we cross multiply this entire term is multiplied with 0. So, finally, the term which is left out is x dx plus y dy plus z dz equal to 0. And let us integrate this on both the sides. This is x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2. 2 equal to 0 and that is the integration constant C2. Now by taking LCM and taking the common denominator to the other side we get x square plus y square plus z square equal to 2 C2 which we take it as the constant B and the first constant C1 we shall take it as A. Now we can give the general solution. Now the general solution is of the form f of a comma b equal to 0. So hence it is f of we got y square minus 2yz minus x square. y square minus 2yz minus z square comma the another concept b is x square plus y square plus z square equal to 0. So this is our required solution, general solution for the given partial differential equation using the Lagrange's multiplier method.